Hello everyone, Carlos here, and welcome to Dino Crisis, a survival horror video game for the PlayStation 1, or original PlayStation. Now this is also, as I said, also another game created by the original creator of Resident Evil, but instead of having zombies, it's replaced with dinosaurs. Very similar to all the other Resident Evil classic, all the Resis and whatnot. This has the same elements in different formats. And if you just give me a moment, I'm just going to have to fix some of these stuff and adjust all of this volume. So this is the first survival horror game that I've ever played in my life, which literally scared me. And there are some jump scares and all that. You'll find out why. And I am beginning to lose touch of what I'm trying to say. Also, I am planning to make a update video to explain what's going on and what my plans is for. And I'm also trying to make a goal for 100 subscriber, if you can do that at least. And enough said, let's go into this game. Also, be sure to leave a like if there's anything you like, find interesting, comment down below, subscribe, and press that notification bell to get notified. So with that out of the way, let's get into Dino Crisis. And that is a pretty loud roar. You have mail. The second from Military Experiment Facility. Agent name, Tom. I have successfully infiltrated under the guise of a researcher as planned. I have encountered no information regarding top secret development of new type weapons. But I have discovered there is an unexpected individual at this facility. The man is Dr. Kirk, the leading authority of our nation's energy research. Dr. Kirk was alleged to have died in an accident during the course of an experiment three years ago. The reports were premature and it appears that he is currently working as the head of a non-weapon project at this facility. The experiment is in the late stages of development. Regarding the staged accidental death, it appears that this country is somehow involved. Recommending that necessary actions be taken immediately. Refer to the data on Dr. Kirk. Decease. Dr. Kirk proposed the ultimate source of clean energy. Yeah, right. Government rejects financial support, laboratory closes. Tragic disaster, Dr. Kirk deceased following an accident during an experiment. Also, I'm planning trying not to speak during the cutscene, so I'll keep as quiet as I can. Time. Let's move out. What about Cooper? Forget him. Time's up. Wait, wait!
Apparently, Cooper landed on the wrong side of the island. Or wrong place. Okay, this is the first checkpoint. Playtime is officially over, kiddies. Something's wrong. The lights in the guardhouse are out. Um, maybe this has been a wild night of partying for the guards. You know, a little song, a little dance. to me. Hey, did you hear what he just called? You forget about it. Just let Gail handle this. All right. It's clear. Okay, let's do this. I'll infiltrate the facility and occupy the control room on the first floor. I should have access to all the security systems from there. I'll contact you as soon as I've cleared the room. Okay, so now that we have made it to the facility, although we lost one of our members in the jungle, let's get into this. Now, some of you may notice that Similar to Resident Evil, they have the 3D render in the background, and it is also a tank, tank control thing. But the thing is, instead of freezing the camera, the camera just follows you wherever you go. But I'm not going to go any more details, let's just see what our team captain is up to. guards were shooting at something very recently. So who were they fighting? This wasn't much of a fight. I don't think these guards hit anything before getting sliced and diced. Whatever they were shooting at came in through there, ripped right through the steel fence. Well, the hole is nice and clean, but I still say you could have done that. Very funny. Still need to figure out what happened here. Continue to sweep the area. Okay, since he's checking the ground, let's go investigate someplace. Let's check this fence again. It has been ripped apart with great force, no doubt about it. So yeah, this is one of those first survival horror games I've ever played when I was young. Because it scared me, had some jump scares and all that. Which got me interested in horror films from the beginning. And from the looks of this, we don't have any key for this. And yeah, there are a few other things that interest me in this. Like, whenever I watch a horror film, this got me going of horror in a video game. That started it all. That got me interested in survival horror. Alright, enough said. Go into this closet to find a key. It's somewhere around this area. There it is. And grab it. And you got the BG area key, which is actually the back background generator area. And we got ourselves the item and supplies. Another new thing you may notice 
instead of trying to look for the item that's still not moving around, like the box over there, it actually does move around. It just tells you how, what it is, picking you up and all that. And we got ourselves the res resuscitation, or as I like to call it, the resurrection box. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Now this thing is able to resurrect you and revive you from where you left off if you die. Because if you don't have this, it's game over. And we got some other stuff like the hemostat helps you stop bleeding. It just says right there. And medical pack medium. And I'm already feeling my whole thing's all janky up. I can't speak. All right, so now we got our key. Let's just go back to the backyard where we came from and see what we can do. Progress going with that security system. I don't know what's been going on here, but it looks like all the power in the facility has been cut. Same here. The both of that situation, there's not a lot I can do. Why don't you see if you can gain access to backup generators on the ground level? I'm on. What are you doing here? I caught the last part of your conversation. By the way, I found a key. Hand it over. Let's head outside. Hey, your welcome was more better than snatching it from my hand. But yeah, just follow Gale and you'll be where we're supposed to. So anyway, the reason why I got into survival horror, that's this game started it, is whenever I watched some B movies back in where I used to live in Maryland, some of them are just either not lady, likely horror movies, but it does get me in my toe, you know? Okay. Let's see where this is going to lead me. Disgusting. This guy's been eviscerated. Something tore his intestines straight out. Look at those tooth marks. It had to be some sort of animal. Okay, let's move on. And what kind of animal would that be? As if I already know. And we got ourselves the medical pack M, which is medium. Also, if you go in here, you'll find a mix, and you can mix up all these health, different kind of health to make it bigger and whatnot. But we're not going to do that right now. Let's just see what this is going to lead me. See if I can try to turn on the generator from the facility. I'll stand guard here. You go inside and take a look around. Yes, sir. Playing the Macho Man, I see. And it looks like this character has a fine, smooth butt. And this is also the generator, as you can see. A battery charger. If I had if I set a battery here, I can charge it. No doubt about it. Okay. Emergency backup power device reminder. Use the device to automatically set the batteries. Always remember to keep the battery charged. And there we have it. The batteries and the switch. Turn it on. You may think we already done the job done. But we did not. Nothing happened, right? All right, so you may notice there are some colors over there in the switch, as well as some in the battery. And all you have to do is match the battery's color from the switch color exactly. All right, so let's go over here and see if we can do that. 
a switch the battery to make it similar to that. Red, green, red, blue, green, white, what I'm saying. All right, let's get out of here now and turn it on. And we did it. We've solved the first puzzle as well as turn on the generator again. Easy as pie. Now we can go over there, back outside to see what Gail has to say for me. Gail? I think something happened outside, so let's just go see what's going on. Gale's gone. Also, you can just point while you're walking, so that's good. There's some blood over there on the floor. Oh boy. Looks like we found our first enemy encounter, but we're not going to fight him because we're just going to uh, conserve our items. And the good thing about it is whenever he stops, he just gives us enough time to escape. Alright, looks like we've outrun it. Hopefully. Or not. Now we might not run it. There it is. I guess he can't come up. Attack me over there, I meant. And looks like we have our destination. We have to go to that control room in the facility first floor to tell Rick about what happened to Gale being attacked by a dinosaur. Or as I like to call them sarcastically, Jesus horse. <laughs> I just hope I'm, I'm so going to get demonetized for saying that and probably go to hell. But enough said, let's go into over there and to see Rick. Tell Gale that he was attacked and fell down the cliff with a rip fence was ripped open. And here particularly, this area seems to be very quiet and ominous. I don't know ominous is the right word for this. I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like we have ourselves one of those dinos. Velociraptor. And of course the door is locked from the other side, so we can't do that. Just let's keep going. There's a ventilation opening. I believe that can reach I can reach it by climbing. <clears throat> also you may have noticed that there's a laser over there, so we can't get over there until it's activated. So let's just climb up the vent. 
I just hope that Lizard doesn't attack me up there. So you see how the camera moves whenever I go? That's actually more similar to polygon, I don't know. Not polygon, but whatever. Instead of 3D render in the background. Camera angles is not likely similar to the one in RE, the Resi games. And we made it somewhere to the control room. Right there next to me. I wonder what Rick's is up to. Exactly happened to Gail. You said that he was attacked by a dinosaur? Yeah, I couldn't believe it. I just hope he's still alive. Anyway, our first priority is to complete the mission. What we ought to do is just call in the chopper and get off this death trap. That's a great idea, but Cooper has the radio and he's missing. Hey, what's with this monitor? That, that's the security monitor for the underground area. The camera's offline. So I take it that means power still hasn't been restored to the area? Exactly. They must have that area wired to a different power system than the ground level. Well, we can investigate that area after we finished our sweep of the ground level. Okay. Then I'll take care of the shutters that are blocking the way. You work your way in, grab the dock, and then rendezvous back here. Okay, look like stuttering Rick managed to tell us how, what we should do. And this is the elevator, but it says an ID card is required to operate it. So we'll be coming back with it later. Right now, let's go over there to see if we can activate some of the areas from that camera thing where it's located. Oh, so now you know what those things are. And basically, I'm going to say the word Jesus horse when I'm referring to dinosaur more often. <laughs> yeah, I just don't want to make that mistake trying to demonetize my video. Anyway, we found ourselves some 9mm, more ammo for the gun. Let's see what's over here this thing but unfortunately it won't open because it's not activated all right let's see you can store medical supply in this emergency box you need a plug to open this emergency box and you don't have enough of it so there are three different kinds of emergency boxes medical which is the green one ammo from red and both in between for yellow if you have one of these plugs that they reference to you can able to you may be able to open it but since i don't have any we're just gonna have to look for some maybe on the way around we can just go find something interesting okay looks like we found ourselves another new weapon a shotgun We'll just use that for later. And there's something awful, something else over there. <clears throat> Collecting the code disk with a same mark in both parts. DTK input disk. All right, so basically you're gonna have to collect one of these disks around because they're very important for it. And something else is in there, inside this cardboard box. So, oh, you find one of those plugs now. Red, green, and yellow boxes. There's something shiny up there too. Let's just turn this on. A 
On the screen in an email title, New Employee Education. Will you turn it on? Read it, I meant. Yeah, excuse the loud background noises over there. And I'm going to pause some of the... Move these things real quick so you can read them if you want. Or just pause the video in case you want to read them. So this explained about the BBK, DDK thing, that disk thing, that will help you operate a small panel. But we're just going to have to keep on going. And that was one of those things that scared me. Jump scare thing. Uh, looks like a panel key too. Looks like it says Leo. We'll just get that later. Just use that later, I meant. He has been gouged to the torso. So yeah, there are some, like I said earlier before, there are a few things that scared me. Most of it is just some jump scare noises. Whenever you hear something like that, some noises back just jumps out of nowhere. That kind of don't like. Anyway, there is a panel right here that requires a numeric code. Numeric code. And that newer code is zero four two six. Very simple. One of the items in there is the main entrance key. And another one of these resurrection box things. Now that's out of the way. Let's get on out of here. I really cannot speak. Will you save your progress? No. And yes, this is also a safe room, so you can save your progress whenever you want. But we're not going to. Which I will. And I have to hurry up because there is another raptor behind me. So, once those panels have been activated, turn it back on. And those raptors won't get... Right now you can hear one of them getting hit by the laser. And even though those velociraptor are very smart, they're not really bright with their vision. They can keep getting you, but they'll never get through me because the laser is on. But if I go th near them, the laser will just stun me, but it won't hurt me. But enough said, let's just get this. Put this lizard out of its misery. Ah, so many things to say and do at the same time. I can't even speak. And you can also tell if they're dead by pointing at this and checking if they're bleeding, like the Resident Evil game. And there's another one of those laser, but it's not activated yet. Let's go inside here. Locker room. All right, let's see. Journal of the Guardman. Guardsman, a page is dated today. Will you read it? No doubt about it, yes. Hmm. 0426. All right, so basically that was just information about the locker over there. Even though we already found out about it. A dart. No, oh, it looks like we found one of the darts. Yeah, you know what? We can just mix them up if you want. So, similar to the medicine, you can use this. You can also use the darts to mix up how strong you want it. Ooh. And from the looks of this, I don't think I have enough items to mix that. And we found another one of these disc. Code disc. So basically, 
the um, the last file that we just read, not the last one, but the um, last before one. It explains how to use two of these different kind of discs to bypass the door lock that's locked and all that. So if we find one of them as a clue, then basically we can I can just show you how it's done. Pretty nice hallway. You know what, I'm tired of walking, so let's just speed things up. And what do we have here? A military symbol of this facility. Front area of entrance. So yeah, I said this before. Similar to Resident Evil, there is in loading time when you open the door. Similar to that, but the difference is you can read what location is taking you. Alright, will you take the SG bullet, which is shotgun? Of course, I will. And we found another ant aid. So basically, this anesthetic. You could just mix that to create a medicine. Only an arm and upper body remains. Okay. And another one of these things. The file of personal changes. Will you read the files? Of course. Alright, so it's a third energy thing. 57036. Mark Doyle. Doyle. Okay, so there's actually three different kinds. Of, well, two different kinds. And this is a heliport area, so we're not going to go there just yet. They show you those codes, two different types of codes, randomly, depending on how you play it. And we'll just get to that later, though. And there's another one of these. Let's just go upstairs. And push this giant box thing. And I think it's best if we mix it up. Let's try to mix up this Darth. Alright, so, depending on how much of this stuff that you mix the Darth, you can use it as a tranquilizer to shoot any animals to make it sleep, depending on how it is. Like, for instance, if it's green, you can just... It can sleep in any moment, like, short time. If it's yellow, it can sleep for a long time. But if it's red like this one, you can use it as a poison dart. Very useful weapon. And I don't think I have enough to make another poison dart, so yeah. I'm gonna have to get my shotgun just to test it out. And I'm guessing there are more of these reptiles. Raptor. Behind this door. And as one of them is sleeping right now, so let's give it a shot. Alrighty, it's killed. Nice. Can't be too sure if there's more of these things. The lounge. Nope. And we better hurry up because if we waste too much time, and there's another one of these things, we'll wake it up. Chemistry manual. It is the... 
brochure of that thing, company. Let's just read it. And it's basically a chemical to mix up all the medicines and all. Very similar to Resident Evil. Who would have thought? And there's a little pen over there, so let's type in 8159. And we got ourselves some parts for the Glock 35 handgun. Actually, let's just check it out. Glock of Austria. Austria. Let's just try to mix it up. See if that... Well, it's customized and I'm trying to mess up something. <coughs> Glock Special Mono, and it can be used for the Parabellum and the 40 S and W bullets, if I'm pronouncing it right. Enough said. Let's get out of here before that Raptor wakes up. Sleeping like a little baby, like a little baby. Is you is or is you ain't my baby? Alright, we found more ammo of the shotgun. And some office. But it's locked. And it's saying the DDK thing that I mentioned about. So let's just do that. It symbolizes H to in subscribe. Alright, so basically it has some sort of code. And you may notice that I had both DDK and code disk. You have to use these two in order to use the panel. And as you can see, it has H, B, C, E, F, A, G, D, I. And the key has to be removed. B, C, F, G, I has to be removed. So, the password for that is none other than head H, E, A, D. Well, basically, well, actually, yes, never mind. So, all of the key letter has to be removed from that category. Well, there are basically a few of these that are randomly in that, but you can figure it out. Turn it on, and you've already unlocked the thing. And I'm guessing that something bad is going to happen, so let's just get prepared. A survivor! Are you from the rescue team? Uh, I... Yes, yes I am. Do you know where I can find Dr. Kirk? Kirk? That fool! What's he plotting now? What are you talking about? Here. Take this. What's this for? I, I don't know. You told me. Extremely vital. And we got ourselves another panel key, which is soul. But it's more than that. Let's just get more whatever this is. More bullets, shells, whatever. Now, there's another panel right there, and as well as another disc. So, basically, you're going to have to use two of the slot panel things to in put it there. So, go over here to where... Hold on. It says soul, right? But basically, just put them in the directed order, like the first one on the left side, and the last one on the right. Works, right? But you're going to have to put in the code. And basically, I'm guessing that I didn't realize it, but this has the symbol of the ribbon and the metal thing. And I need a numerous code. So based on the um, letters that we saw in the thing, it's actually numbers if you turn it upside down. 
So it's seven zero five zero three seven. And you got whatever this L card is. Now let's get to this thing. Uh, that also scared me too when I was young. Jump scare. And we have ourselves our first boss fight, if it's optional. Move away, by the way, I'll bite you. Just keep shooting until it's not tired of fighting you. Yeah, that's right, keep walking. Alright, so we fought ourselves our first boss, the T-Rex that ate Cooper, one of our team members. So, I'm guessing that you can either just fight him or walk away. If you're lucky enough to dodge it. Well, we've already took care of that problem. Now, this is just back then, because when I was young, and I first time playing this in the first Resident Evil game, I always thought that the yawn from Resident Evil 1 was actually the primary boss, final antagonist, monster, and all that. But it's actually not because I played this first before I played Resident Evil. And I always thought that that giant snake was actually the main antagonist throughout. But I guess not. Because I always thought just because the T-Rex will chase you throughout the entire area. And enough said. Let's just go see what this is. Restricted area, antenna room. And what's in this antenna room? A control room. There is a slot for the antenna activating key. Whatever that is, we don't have it. A memo from the antenna operating engineer. Will you read the memo? Of course. Or not. Just skip it. And it's also explained about the combination for the lounge combination thing and it's giving you an example of how to open it and operate it like I said all right now we can get out of here nothing useful or from useful here with Ugh. man I really cannot speak Okay, so now we can go out to that hallway, well, under the catwalk to use the panel thing. Another one down there you can see. And there's something spinning, just let me go over here a little. Hold up. I've unlocked the shutters near the entrance. One more thing. I just caught a glimpse of something on the monitor that looked human. It should be somewhere near the front of the training room. So check there first. And looks like there's something over there in that destination in the training room. So we can either go all the way back to where the shutter the laser thing that has been deactivated or we can just go through the door over here faster let's just get this now and try using the device again because all that same routine as before and we have ourselves the letter N to subscribe So, similar to the last one, just repeat the same routine. And it's A, B, and 
D-E-F-G-H from the first lounge and okay so A B D F G H so you're gonna have to remove all that just for a fair the password is actually newcomer which is me because I just come out of nowhere with all my teammate yeah, I'm gonna have to silence this for a moment there you go And we found ourselves another one of these boxes. So let's just ch exchange one of them. Let's see, let's just get rid of one of these. Hammer stat, that's fine. Straighten it up a little bit. And perhaps I could just mix it up as well. And we can also sort up these items as well, just to give it a better thing. Now we can just get some more stuff. Already empty. Yeah, okay, that just to be sure. Let's just move this thing, see what's on the other side. Oh, really? Let's just try to mix up some of this here and there. the map for the F first and second floor of this place so let's just get the data out of it and we have ourselves the elevator doesn't seem to work right now because it requires an ID We've already unlocked this thing, so let's see where this le leaves me. Actually, let me check my map, just to be sure. Alright, we're almost close. Actually. And just to be sure, I'm just going to use my Darth. I have a very strong suspicion that something's going to happen. I was right. Not just one, but two dinos. Lucky. Killed one. And time to kill the other one. done. That's another thing I want to point out. Most of these raptors can pop out in different room from randomly out of nowhere. The 
Yeah, that's also something I need to watch out. Another thing that kind of scared me. Another jump scare. Let's see what this thing does. I could just use that to distract these lizards, but no point in doing that anymore. And we got ourselves another one of these plugs. And this too. Alright, so let's see what this thing is about. Lecture room or training room. And there's nothing interesting going on. Let's see. Let me just check over the front desk thing. Nothing. There seems to be having an introduction course. Whatever. That is, I meant. And we got ourselves another one of these keys. As well as another encounter. Not good. you're up against. Any word on the dock yet? I've got to hook up with Rick again. My radio is dead and he's the only one who can fix it. And good thing that Gale's still alive, so let's follow him back to the control room. And that attack thing happening, that is a quick time event. If you're attacked, or sometimes you need to get away from some of the danger, you just have to press the emergency button as much as you can. Otherwise, it's too late or you're too slow. Yeah, yeah. Let's just speed this thing up. Just run. Wonder where this leaves me. into the toilet. Wonder somebody's in there. Nope. Inventory's too small, huh? And that's good. Let's get out of here since I don't have to use the bathroom. I'm just checking my inventory. Okay, I'm going to have to use an ID card since I don't have any. And this thing's back on. So that's a entrance that I mentioned earlier before. The longer route. There's no reptile around. Nope. I don't know. This is just a stretch, but I'm guessing that the developer had the idea of creating getting the inspiration from Jurassic Park to make a survival horror game based off of dinosaurs. I'm just saying. So how goes the search for the doc? Nothing yet. I didn't find any sign of him on this level. That leaves the underground area then. It's the only place left. But there's no power down there, right? Not yet. That'll be your job, Regina. Restore the power to the underground area. Alright, I'll do that. And from the looks of this, 
Rick is repairing Gail's communicator, and, well, Team Captain is just checking the monitor. Well, that's good to know. So I'll leave you guys alone to do what you guys are often to do. Often to do, I'm trying to say. Okay, so now we have one of the plugs. We can go over here and use it. All right. Let me just get this out of the way. If I want, I could just create more darts, poison dart. That way I can just save more animals. Let me just get more. Okie dokie. Mechal pack here. And uh, hammer stack just to mix it up. And recovery. Let's do some mixing up and all that. Uh, press the wrong button. Okay, okay. Looks like I've taken care of that. So let's go to the area where we're supposed to turn on and activate the generator for where we didn't came from. I'm trying to say. <clears throat> so yeah, this is actually what I said before that the developer was trying to take inspiration from Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park, I'm trying to say. Just to make it more prehistoric vibes and all. Well, there is another movie similar to that. It was actually a Jurassic Park bootleg version. Low budget and all that, but it was kind of gory, but very bad garbage. It spawned two sequels and all. Everything seems quiet. I was expecting something to happen, but I guess not. And this thing over here kind of reminds me a lot like a Coke sign, Coca-Cola sign. In fact, it does remind, almost reminds me of it. Anyway, now that we were here, just go to this area with the um, lock thing. And there you go. Now let's activate this hall, I mean, generator. Let's just go downstairs. It's exactly like the last one, but it has a door that's locked on the other side. And another charger, battery charger. The difference is we have found a battery inside of it, setting the charge. So take that and go over there, similar to that puzzle. Let me just move this out of the way. Another mod plug. <coughs> And place the battery into it with the rest of them. And it's exactly the same thing as the last puzzle. So similar to the last one, repeat the same thing. Match the colors from the switch and activate it. So let's just do that and go back to the others. Red, blue, green, white, similar to that, and that's a done deal. Simple as that.
So, do we have power yet? We're in the green, thanks to you. Look, I need you to come back here. There's something I have to talk to you about. Talk to me about something? Are you trying to reveal your feelings to me? How sweet. Or not. So let's head back to the control room to see what Rick wants. And I really need to drink because my voice is too dried up to speak. And I can't say anything with a dry mouth and all that. Get very pouched. Okay, that scared me too. And just to be sure. Alright, so sometimes the Raptor can either burst into this window or this window in front of me. So yeah, this is basically randomize. Randomize. Is that an actual word? Yeah, so anyway, let's just go over there to see what's going on. Oh yes, as I said before, one of the um, bootlegged versions of Jurassic Park that I mentioned, the sequel of it, kind of reminds me a lot like the plot that all the um, people are investigating a facility full of dinosaurs. Actually, it's kind of taking some tropes from aliens, James Cameron aliens, some military people and all that, investigating, rescuing, whatever, and they're encountering either monsters, aliens, or whatever your creatures, that, that kind of tropes that we've been seeing, hearing several times. But I'm not going to go into that detail. Let's see what's just going on, though. What's the emergency? Gail just told me he saw someone on the underground monitor. It flashed by pretty quick, but I'm sure I saw something. Rick, open the shutter to the underground area. What is it? It's a distress signal from one of our team members. It must be Cooper. Yeah, or it might be Tom. He infiltrated this facility, posing as one of the researchers. Can you pinpoint the signal? It's coming from outside of the building, to the east of the rear entrance we came in from. Look, we'll deal with it later. Our first priority is the survivor in the underground. It could be the doc. What are you talking about? He's asking for our help. We don't leave our own behind. And what if it's a trap? Would you want one of us to come and rescue you? Don't bother. I'm willing to take that risk. Remember our mission. We're not here to babysit. That's your will of operation, not mine. All right, you have your access to the underground, Gale. So get moving. You handle your things your way, I'll handle my things my way. That punk is really starting to get on my nerves. Regina? Heading out to investigate the underground. All right, so now that we we have ourselves two choices: Gail's idea, search for the clues to find the doctor, or Rick's idea, rescue your comrade immediately. So basically, depending on which choice you make, it may also affect the ending. So, in my opinion, I suggest we go with Rick because it's a more honest and good way to start off. And our destination is back to the backyard. And I'm guessing both of these guys have started out with a heated rivalry now. So, while Gale is dealing with his problems searching the doctor, 
we're gonna go follow Rick wherever he is go. Heading, in other words. So, again, head back to the area where we came from, the backyard, to find Tom, one of the person from the beginning of the story, giving us all the information. boy. Oh, there he is. So go ahead and follow him. Ricky boy. Ricky O. I think that's the name of a movie I've heard before. Just to be sure, we got ourselves the poison dart. And it looks like it's been ripped open with something. Yeah, we already know what it is. Dinosaurs. Nice try. Slag bullets. Alright, so this is a much stronger version of the shotgun. We're not going to be using it just yet. Let's just dodge this other one. Yes, I will. Another resurrection box for me. And that was a close one, too. Uh-oh. And looks like we're introduced with another new enemy. New dino. The pterodactyl. Or another way to put it, the pteranodon. They can only be appeared in the outside environment. So now that we got our shotgun, let's see if I can just shoot one of those buzzards. Prehistoric buzzards, in other words. I don't have enough room, so let's just... Nailed one. On top of the control, huh? I'm not gonna deal with you right now. Tom! They came out of nowhere. Didn't have a chance. Tom! Can you tell us what's going on here? Kirk's insane. His experiments have nothing to do with energy development. Uh, uh, Tom! Here, take this. His wounds are pretty bad. We have to move him someplace safe immediately. And we got another one of these cards, DDK cards, as well as another one over here. This looks pretty bad. Listen, I'll take care of it. Yes, go right ahead. And let's see, we're going to have to go to another place to activate something that elevator that we saw that landed on that pteranodon landed on the control panel for the elevator what I'm trying to say and I'm almost dead not likely dead but injured let me just get my health up. And we're good to go. 
Of course, we found ourselves another puzzle. Let me just move this out of the way first. And see if I can do some mixing up. Just to make more rooms. Or not. Or oh, whatever. Let's see. Come on. All right, you got the first the <laughs> basement crane car. So it looks like I'm going to have to operate a crane of some sort. And we have ourselves the first puzzle. I mean, ugh, what the hell am I saying? Next puzzle. Caution when operating operating the power supply pipe. By activating the main main monitor, whatever, you can supply power to the big elevator. In case you accidentally lower the wrong pipe while trying to supply the power, you can return the pipe to the original position by pressing the buttons in the same computer terminal. All right, so it looks like we're gonna have to use some of the button terminal to activate this generator right here in a specific order. So I'm guessing the red one is the first right here. And go to the opposite direction below Turn on the red. And the third and four is the green one. Let's just put those two on the middle. And the blue one in the, from the last position. Doesn't matter which order you do it for the blue and we are done simple as that now we can go back to Rick and Tom Hello? Where's the birdie? I guess the birds are not there. Oh, yes they are. And looks like it's trying to throw me into the fan, but... Nope. Not gonna happen. Spaghetti sauce. Alright, let's get out of here. Or just turn on the elevator. And looks like Tom is pulling himself together. He is taking care of Tom. Swoon. No doubt about it. Now, they can, now we can go to the elevator thing. There. Also, there's another elevator door, but unfortunately... Looks like it's small and, and it's not responsive. It's responding. Eh. God, I can't speak. Just need to get that. So I'll head back to Tom and Rick to see what he has to say. And we can move him to a safer place. And I'm losing my grip on saying things. My speech, in other words. Yeah, Tyrannodon. 
done, wasn't it? You meant you saw that it was a real dinosaur. It's unbelievable. Didn't I tell you? This is just like that movie. Yes, that movie. Billy and the Clonosaurus. And now we made our way to the third, fl second floor. Second or third, I'm not sure. First floor, doy. I'm stupid. Unfortunately, it's barricaded, so what do we do? Use that crank. Crane. Regina. We have to hurry. Tom's not going to last much longer. I'll clear a path by moving these containers. You just keep an eye on Tom. Since he's doing that, let's go up into this area. Climb up the ladder. Let me see if I can move this out of the way first. Another one of these. Now since we have our card, crane card, use it. And let's do some operating. Let's just see. The elevator's on the left side, and the entrance to where we're going is on the right. And as you may be hearing, that is a paper that I'm actually using. So let's try to operate it the best we can, with total silent. Silence. Whatever. And there you have it. We've completed the entire puzzle, so now we can go down through this area. Or not. Will do. Concentrate on the mission. Leave the rest to me. Right. Oh yeah. If Gil gives you any more of his bull, be sure to beat him down for me. Okay? I'll be more than happy to do that. As a matter of fact, I'm going to head back to this area instead of following you. That way I can see what I'm missing. Even though I already got the medical box over there. Just taking my time, you know. So, yeah, as I said before, I had this little paper to help me guide this crank and all that. It's all crumpled up, though, because it's been around for about 10 years that I had. Oh, yeah, I forgot the crank. 
the, the, the crack looks very deep. It's too dangerous to jump over it. So I'm guessing that there is an earthquake and it just kind of collapsed, killing the raptor and all. And let's just try to mix some up those things. Thank you very much. I'm just going to use my handgun. I'm just taking much time doing sorting out and all. Alright, well, looks like I'm going to have to go back and follow Rick and Tom. That was pretty wasteful of me to go back and forth. Da -da -da. Just cracking my knuckles. All right, follow the others. Hold on for a sec. The dead man has a memo, no doubt. Okay, let's see what it says. Whatever. Dr. Kirk seems like a real jerk. Kirk, jerk. That rhymes. See what I did there? And yeah, looks like we found another dart. Uh, let's just check around this area first. going on with the others what's gonna happen might as well just see and find out and of course this thing is already not working shut I'll just figure it out, eventually. And there's another new enemy. Compies. The smaller version of Velociraptor. But they're not really dangerous. Of course they are considered annoying. Just shoot them one by one. And that takes care of them. And is this the same raptor that Tom killed or before it bled to death and eaten alive? Blood is from hundreds of small bites. Or not. Or whatever, I don't know. And let's head to this room. Medical room. Unfortunately, Tom did not make it. Took his final breath before fighting off the Velociraptor. It's Tom Corpses. He has been savagely slash. Too bad I can't get his Uzi from him. But at least he put up a good fight one last time. Rest in peace. 
All right, let's see. Oh, we found ourselves the ID card that we're looking for. And another memo. Doctor on duty. Sure would. Okay. Alright, so looks like we're going to have to retrieve a device from the strategy room someplace. And we found another one of this. Let's see. You know what, I'm just going to leave that air. And see if there's anything. In oh good, there's a plug, I was going to say. And looks like we're going to have to call it quits for today, so... Yeah, sorry for all that mumble-jumble of all that and trying to speak... Not... Ugh, trying not to speak that quiet, but I'll try better or whatever. But we're going to continue... We're going to continue on later and some other time. So thank you again for watching my video. And like always, be sure to press that like, comment below subscribe and press the notification bell so until then i will see you again in the next video